Okay, welcome back. In this video, um, I'm hoping to show you the oscilloscope trace showing the waveform of the um, the filtered output. So we I, I showed you the waveforms, the ramp wave. No, I said sawtooth in that video, but it's that's backwards. This is a ramp wave and a square wave, um, and then the low pass filter here. Um, modifies or filters that um, so let me just switch it on so you can hear what it sounds like and um, we're going to play with these two the cutoff frequency that determines um, well at which point the frequency is um, being filtered and not so i'm not quite sure <laughs> which way up or down makes it filter more but um, you'll see the waveforms. That, that's the goal. For my goal here is learning how the electronics modify the sound. So, so that we're going to play with the cutoff frequency and the resonance. And I'll just turn those. See, we've got here set to about seven. So you, know, you can hear what that does. There's more harmonics in that. So basically dialed up like this we get the um, the inverse of the ramp so you'll, you'll see a, an actual sawtooth wave and then as we dial this back you'll see more um, like you'll see the harmonics in the sawtooth waveform so and I'm also going to uh, switch the uh, you know adjust the VCO frequency so you can see what that looks like again and then we'll we'll flip it over to the square wave and see what that waveform looks like. All right, so let's go to the back of the board. The output of the filtered waveform is is in test point 12 or connector X12 there. So let's go to the oscilloscope trace. And thanks again to the ARRL there for this picoscope. I'm going to dial that down so you don't have to listen to it while I find the, the pin. All right, there it is. So that's kind of what it's looking like. You should still be able to hear that. And then if I, as I turn the cutoff frequency knob, you'll see what that does. Now we dial the cutoff frequency all the way up to 10 and we turn the resonance down. You'll see what looks pretty much like a, right about there, the, the actual sawtooth, which is just the inverse of the input form, uh, the wave, the ramp waveform. So then we dial down the cutoff frequency. You can see those harmonics coming in there. Dial up the resonance, you can see the amplitude of those harmonics increases. And then as we change the frequency of the change the frequency of the uh, input or the VCO output, you can see what that looks like. Then we switch over to a square wave coming out of the VCO. And there's that, what that looks like. So changing the resonance, turning up the resonance. You can hear that, hopefully. And then the changing the cutoff frequency. Now I'm just changing the VCO frequency. Thanks for watching.